What's up, Trey? Good. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. We've got a, a room full of folks waiting to speak with you. Um, thank you for joining us. They've been alerted that it's your birthday, so you may or may not get a birthday question. Uh, happy birthday. I appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. Um, you should be familiar with most people in here. So we'll go ahead and get started with the first question from Sarah Spencer of the AJC. Hey, happy birthday. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Sorry you have to spend it quarantining or working out or you can't do much fun. <laughs> Um, so my question is, what do you think of this new roster? Um, obviously, a lot of new guys added to the mix. And what kind of potential do you think this group has? I mean, I think the new guys definitely help us a lot. Um, you know, having, you know, Rondo, um, Bogey, uh, Gallinari, uh, Clint. Um, I mean, just having those guys, you know, um, definitely increases the depth on our team. I feel like that's something we definitely need it. Um, Gonna make practice very competitive, training camp very competitive. So, um, I mean, I don't see how these new guys can hurt us. I feel like they can only help us, and I'm um, looking forward to it. On such a deep roster, there's obviously going to be a lot of competition for playing time and just a more competitive kind of team overall. Are you looking forward to that? And um, you know, do you view it as a, a challenge, or how do you kind of view the the depth that the team has this year? I mean, definitely. Um, that's that's how you get better um, by competing with guys. You know. Their experience, um, they have done this. Uh, so just being able to compete with them, being able to learn from them. And as far as playing time, I mean, that's going to work itself out. Uh, you can't really worry about that. You just got to know, come in, do what you're supposed to do. And, you know, it's in coach's hands after that. Thank you. Next from Chris Kirshner. Hey, DeAndre, happy birthday. Uh, I'm curious, what, what did you um, specifically work on to improve your game this off season, and, and what are you looking to, I guess, prove in your second season? Uh, I definitely, you know, just tried to, you know, I watched a lot of film uh, during this quarantine, uh, just trying to, you know, watch guys I'll probably be guarding and, you know, learn their tendencies and things like that. So I think I could be a lot better on the defensive end. I mean, offensively, I've been, I mean, I was a rookie, so I worked on everything. Um, shooting, dribbling, you know, learn the offense and things like that. So, um, I mean, I think I'll, I'll probably focus more on defense than anything because, you know, that's what the team needs from me this year. Uh, as a follow-up, what specifically do you think you need to improve on on, on the defensive side of the floor? Uh, just getting more active in the passing lane. Uh, I feel like I, I'm a pretty solid defender one-on-one. -on -one. Um, just continuing to get better at that. Like I said, just, you know, seeing what guys like to do. Um, and I mean, that's it, really. Raphael Haynes. Happy birthday, DeAndre. Um, speaking of defense, you all got better defensively, you know, adding the, with Rondo and Chris Dunn, and even with Ayeka, the rookie, of course, Clint. Then also adding Nate McMillan as an assistant coach. Mm -hmm. How excited are you now knowing that you want to improve defensively and like you said, you're a solid defensive player and having those guys come in come along on the team? I mean, I mean it's great because I feel like if you watch us play, um, you know we can score on offense. I feel like where we struggle at, I mean towards the end of the games is definitely defense and you know, having guys like Rondo, like you said, uh, myself, Cam, you know, Chris Dunn, Clint, uh, even John, you know, just having guys like that in the game, uh, at the end of the game, I definitely feel like it would help us. Um, just be able to get stops. And, you know, on offense, we, we don't really struggle like that. So at the end of the game, where it's time to get a stop, having the guys in, you know, that could make plays and, you know, get stops, I feel like that would definitely help us. We've got a question from Greece, uh, from Christos. Hello, Giandre. Happy birthday. I would hey. like to ask you, uh, how productive was the last season for you and how big boost you get from, uh, from this uh, in front of uh, the, ne the next season? Uh, I feel like last season definitely helped me a lot. Um, it was a big learning curve for me. I played a lot of minutes as a rookie. Um, I don't know if I was def necessarily expecting that, but I uh, played a lot. So, I mean, it was a lot of learning throughout the games. Um, a lot of learning about back-to-backs and just the schedule of the NBA. So, I mean, I learned a lot. And over quarantine, you know, I got time to work on my game, you know, talk to the coaches and things like that. So, um, I mean, I'm really excited for this next season for sure. And also your team had uh, some great players like uh, Raisin Rondo, Danilo Gallinari, Chris Dunn. How excited you are to learn from them and uh, to make your game uh, another uh, to the next level? 
Um, I'm really excited to learn from. Like I said, those guys are vets. Um, Rondo just coming off the championship. Um, Gallo's playing the playoffs. So, um, you know, they know things that I have no clue about. So just, you know, being able to pick that brain and learn from them throughout the season, I feel like that could definitely help me. Next question from Sarah Spencer. Um, what kind of challenges does it present when you have so many new guys you kind of have to get acclimated to? They've got to get acclimated to y'all um, with such a quick turnaround going into preseason and then the season. Uh, I think just not having them around, you know, learning the plays, um, learning our defense and things like that. I mean, they'll eventually learn it, but, you know, we went through the mini camp. Um, we were here, you know, before they, they got here even you know, just a few weeks ago. So we've been going over those things. We kind of already know it from last year as well. So, you know, just in introducing them to the concepts and things like that, I feel like that would be the toughest part. But, I mean, I don't, I don't think it would be too hard for those guys. Edwin Powell. Good morning, uh, DeAndre. Uh, now going into your second year, got a full year under your belt. What advice would you give to the Rooks uh, as far as just how to carry themselves, things that you learned from year one? Um, I mean, just don't get too down to yourself. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people saying a lot of things. Um, you just got to block them out, uh, focus on yourself. You're going to have some good games. You're going to have some terrible games. You just, you know, you got to live with it, uh, roll with the punches, and, and just keep pushing forward. Back to Sarah. Um, I remember both you and Cam a few, I guess, months ago now um, talked about how you wanted to be more aggressive. Um, is that still kind of your mindset? Is there anything you can do to to work on that, or is it just kind of how you plan to attack the game, attack the game more aggressively? Um, you know, now that you have a little bit more ex experience under your belt. Uh, I mean, aggressive. I mean, aggressiveness is definitely definitely something you have to work on in practice. Um, I mean, it's not necessarily something you have to, you know, be aware of. You know, you just just got to be aggressive. It's just like the uh, way you play. Um, instead of being passive, you know, looking to attack, looking to make plays for yourself and your teammates and things like that. So it could just translate easier to the game. Raphael. Last year you had Vince Carter to lean on as that vet. Now you bring in a guy like Gallin Gallinari. And um, what do you see in his, <clears throat> in his game that you can learn from and what would you pick from his brain? I mean, like I say, he has experience. Um, he's guarded a lot of guys. He's went against a lot of guys. And, um, I mean, when I look at him, he's, he's huge, in my opinion. Uh, just a big guy, you know, stretch for kind of guy who could really, you know, put the ball on the floor, who could really shoot it and things like that. So. Just learning the ins and outs of the game, you know, where he picks his spots and, you know, where he feels comfortable and stuff like that. And maybe I could, you know, work with him and, you know, learn from him and do the kind of similar things as well. Allison. Hey, you know, it feels like it's been forever since you guys have played against someone other than yourselves. Um, would you say there's more excitement coming for this uh, preseason game to face other teams? Uh, which is really just about 10 days now going up against other competition? I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't think I've ever been more excited for a game in my life, honestly. Uh, I mean, it's been, what, nine months since, I think, March. Uh, so it's been a long time coming, and, you know, we finally, you know, have a chance, and, you know, we have a, a set schedule and a set game. So just having that is just very exciting, and I know everyone's here, here is excited, and we're just looking forward and getting ready for it. Back to Greece and Christos. DeAndre, do you feel with uh, this roster of Atlanta Hawks about next season? You feel like uh, the huge, you are a huge underdogs uh, in East. I mean, I don't, I don't know if we're underdogs or not. I feel like that's you know the media's job to portray whether we're underdogs or not. But I mean, we we have talent. Um, we have guys who work hard, and we have a, I think we have a pretty good team. And whether we're underdogs or not, I don't know. But I guess we'll see. Back to Raphael. Now that you all come back, and of course, you know what you all are dealing or we're dealing with the uh, pandemic and the COVID situation. And of course, with 
all of the sports, you see it affecting sports and affecting a lot of teams, of course. How do you block that out your mind, knowing that you are concerned about, of course, catching it, but how do you block that out your mind to stay focused playing ball? I mean, I think you just do the necessary things you have to do off the court. Um, for example, like not going out and, you know, not putting yourself at risk to catch it. Um, just trying to stay as safe as possible. I mean, you could you could catch it just going to home and to the gym, who knows. But, you know, just trying to stay as safe as possible. And I feel like everything will work itself out. So all you have to do is focus on basketball, really. Allison. How does it feel to be a part of a team that invested so much in free agency to just make themselves even better? And does that put kind of added pressure on a team that it kind of feels like it's kind of playoffs or nothing this year? I mean, that's a goal we set as a team uh, was to make the playoffs. So, I mean, they got the pieces. Uh, and, I mean, it's up to us to make it work. Uh, I mean, I don't think there's any pressure. Um, I mean, we're basketball players at the end of the day, so it's not much pressure. But just going out there and playing the game and, you know, using the pieces that we got and hopefully it could, you know, elevate us to the next level and beat up and we'll be able to make the playoffs this year. Okay. Sarah? Um, I was just curious, what was your kind of workout routine or habits you created over this nine plus month layoff um, in order to kind of keep yourself in shape and keep yourself ready to go? Um, you know, you wouldn't normally go this long without playing, you know, a, a full on game. I mean, yeah, this off season was, I mean, I don't, I don't even know what a regular off season is like, to be honest. So um, I didn't know what to expect going into it. But I mean, it was a lot of on and off working out this this summer because you know, there were plans to, you know, start sooner than there were plans to start next year. And then you hear that, like, we're starting now. So it's like, I tried to stay in shape, you know, just working out every day. But um, like a month ago to maybe a month and a half ago, you know, I was doing two days and, you know, just trying to get my body back in shape and begin up to play and stuff like that. Raphael? And to piggyback off that, do you think that, Playing, I mean, that not playing and having that long layoff, did it benefit you in some way? You said it did or it didn't? Did it? I'm saying, did it benefit you? Uh, I mean, I definitely, like I said, I watched more film probably <clears throat> than I have before uh, just because there was so much time. And, um, I mean, I feel like film really shows you, like, the things you need to work on better than, you know, just having it in your head and things like that. So, Definitely watching the film and just having the time to actually go to the gym and work on those things, I feel like definitely, definitely help. What we had like to, I definitely would have liked to have been playing, of course, but you know, off time isn't too bad. And were you able to um, keep in touch with with Cam and Trey and all uh, those guys during the off season? Oh yeah, definitely. <clears throat> I mean, we would text every now and then. Uh, I mean, I'll go over to Cam's house. I mean, uh, I saw Trey. We would come to the gym together and stuff like that. So. Um, we definitely stay in touch with the team for sure. Allison? A little bit of a fun one here. Uh, I, since it's your birthday, what are you doing to celebrate for it's a quarantine birthday, right? Are you ordering your favorite foods, Zooming with friends? What are you doing to celebrate on your birthday? Well, my family's here, so um, they actually just came last night, so I'm sure they probably surprised me with something, probably just like a dinner or something, but definitely quarantine and just stay at home and, you know, be as safe as possible. Chris Kirshner. Um, I know some of you guys worked out in Los Angeles a few weeks ago. Um, well, not in Los Angeles, but in California. Um, what was that experience like and, and what did you gain from that? I mean, it was cool. Um, I don't even think we knew the season was starting at that point. Uh, I don't think we knew it was starting this early. But we were just there, you know, trying to just, like, build team chemistry and things like that. And, you know, it was cool. It was just, like, something other than the training camp, you know, outside of Atlanta. Um, it was more free. You know, it wasn't as strict of a schedule or anything. We kind of just, you know, met up, had dinner, uh, worked out with each other a few times. So, I mean, it was good to see the guys for sure. What was the best part of the experience, would you say? The uh, best part of the experience, uh, we did a boxing class. We all did a boxing class together, and I, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Back to Allison. I was just curious if there's, you know, we've heard a lot of like the baseball players, they're really big into playing video games. I didn't know if, if, if you guys are, is that a way that you guys can kind of bond when you're 
all quarantining separately playing? Or is there anything that you guys do to kind of, you know, bond outside the court virtually? I mean, yeah, we played a game a few times. Uh, I'm not a big gamer like I once was, but um, every now and then, you know, I'll get on with Kevin or, you know, Brandon Goodwin. We play a few times. So, I mean, even Cam plays a couple, a little bit too. So, um, get on with them and, you know, we run it a little bit. But I don't really play video games as much as I used to. And it looks like our final question will come from Sarah Spencer. I've heard Brandon Goodwin is very intense with his video game. Yeah, he is. He's a, he should be like, he should probably be a professional like that, honestly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, based on what you guys have added to the roster, like with Chris Dunn, and also what, you know, the guys that you're bringing back, um, do you think this team is going to be able to improve enough and take enough steps on defense to get where you guys want to be? I mean, I think so. I think it's definitely a focus this year. Um, I mean, as long as we have guys who are willing, you know, guys who are, you know, determined to actually follow through within the game, um, I don't see why it wouldn't translate um, from practice to now. And we, we have defensive guys. Uh, so, I mean, I, I feel like it would definitely help us a lot. And I guess we have to wait and see. But um, I think we will be a lot better defensively this year. Thank you. Happy birthday again. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, everybody. That was our final question.